Hello, welcome back to the list page configuration series, it's Tuzik again. In today's episode of list page properties, we will learn how to configure page components. Starting with the action button display style. There are two types of action button display styles, by default, the action button display style is set to icons, let's have a look. To change it click on the action button display style field, select drop down. Publish project and preview in browser. Next on our list is the action button in front. By default this is set to false which makes the action button display at the right side of the table record. We can set it to true, let's have a look at what changed. Now our action button has moved from the right to the left side of the table. Next is the delete button, edit button, and view button display, they are all set to true. I'm going to use the delete button in reference to the edit and view button. Click on the delete button field, select false. Click publish button and then preview. As we can see the edit button is hidden, I'm going to set it back to true. Now the delete button is showing. We can do the same to the edit button and view button. Next is the action button text. With this property, we can rename the action button text. I'm using the edit button in reference to the view button and delete button. By default action button text is empty, but I'm going to rename it to modify. Let's publish and then preview change. We can see the effect from here. We can do the same for both the view button and delete button. Next is export property. When the export is set to true, it allows us to print records to different formats like CSV, PDF, and Excel. With export settings, we can change and modify report format and report page design. Next is the export button text. The default text is export, you can rename it to your choice. To see changes publish and preview in a browser. Next is the import data property. Click on the import data field. Click this small dots button. From here, we can enable the import button. Click OK, publish and preview. Next is the import button text, with this property we can rename the import button text. Next is the list sequence, let have a look at the default list sequence. To disable it, click on list sequence select field, and select false. Let's publish and preview change. Next is to include checkbox property. Let check it out, here it is. A checkbox is used to select multiple rows of records for multi-record actions like delete. To disable the checkbox, click on the include checkbox field, and select false. The next property is pagination. By default pagination is set to true, to disable it, Click the Pagination Select field and set it to False. To configure it, click the Pagination Settings field. By default, 
pagination style is set to numeric prev next. With this style, pagination displays page count, record count, limit count, and list range limit. To change pagination style, click on the page style field, select the page style of your choice, I will select load more, click the OK button, click publish and preview. Now when the load more button is clicked on, more data will be loaded to our page. Let's switch to other page styles. This time, let's select infinity scroll. Click OK, click publish and preview. With infinity scroll, more data is loaded to our page when scrolled down to the bottom of the page. Furthermore, we can customize Ajax spinner properties, which include spinner style, color, size, and loading text. You can check this button to apply the change to all other list page from different tables. Once done, click OK and publish. Now we have learned how to configure page components properties. In our next tutorial, we are going to learn how to configure page modal properties. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. For more tutorials like this, don't forget to like and comment below.